guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm gonna put the comment of the day up and if you guys wanna take part in that, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them for my new notifications. So we're back with some Lepacy and we have um, arrived in France. We came back here because I played a couple days off camera and we still were not able to be romantic or do any sort of romantic interactions with Adele. So I figured why not just come back to France and take it into our own hands and steal her and bring her home. So that's kind of the plan, but I also want to check for some adventures and see if there's anything kind of fun for us to do. So let's see what we have. Um, ask John Luke Pivert on a date for Jolene. Okay, uh, I'm in desperate need of a date, but I'm too nervous to ask this guy uh, if he'll go with me. I'll pay anyone willing to do this for me. This is so very weird, but we are gonna go do that I guess and he's a guy that lives in that really big fancy house this guy right here we don't really have much of a friendship with him so I have a feeling I'm probably gonna have to try to befriend him before we can make that happen but we're, we're gonna try we're gonna try to get this girl that we don't even know um, a date and hopefully he will say yes okay we're arriving at his house and you know what we might take some of his stuff if we if we possibly can but we're going to see what he says I have a feeling he's gonna be like no no oh my god actually he did I'm pretty shocked so I thought we were gonna have to maybe butter him up a little bit but he was like yeah sure he must be pretty desperate okay, now we're well. arriving over here to let Jolene know that I guess he said yes I mean he didn't really say anything but let's see what happens here don't get mad at me okay like actually she looks pretty happy so oh okay i lied that was kind of scary oh that was like the quickest adventure thank you for having the courage to do what i couldn't i've been so lonely lately and john luke piper is just so handsome i'm sure we'll have a good time thanks to you of course here's your reward so we got some visa points an increased relationship and 500 simoleons so that's something i guess um where is miss we're backwards. Miss Adele. I think this is her house. Yeah, she's there. Let's go visit Adele and let's just steal her from her husband if we can. If we can. I don't know exactly how relationships from, you know, other places when you travel go, but we're going to try our best. So we're going to see what we can do and maybe we can just, you know, scoop her up and take her home with she us. She has we'll a very, very cute house. Like, look at this home. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I love it so, so much. So hopefully she's not going to miss this home too much because, uh, you know, we got things to do. <gasps> Are they getting romantic in here? I'm peeking in the window. No, they're, they're, they're just chatting. They're just chatting. Nothing serious. So hopefully that's a, a good sign. <laughs> we're going to probably piss him off because we're going to just scoop her up right in front of him. And he's going to be like, what the hell happened? Uh, well, you know, I hate to tell you, but this family we don't care about All right, she just invited us in which is amazing and see now the romantic gestures are there so let's go ahead and compliment her personality he's thinking about babies you guys he, let's see what happens let's see oh is she gonna be into oh she's into it and he's over here singing and uh oh my gosh oh my gosh let's hold hands oh is he yelling is he coming to yell at us no i don't think he's gonna yell at us i think he's just kind of <laughs> A dumbass him. He doesn't even know what's going on. He's just like, hmm, let me just sit here and sing while my wife, while my wife is over here flirting with somebody else. Okay, well, I hate to tell you, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna steal her. We're scooping her up, I hope. I, I hope we are. I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to, but we're definitely going to try our very best here. So, I don't know how we can really invite her but we're gonna just keep trying we're gonna hold hands we're just gonna get romantic there we go ask to break up with lawrence that's what we're gonna do and then we're going to confess our attraction and then we're going to do a first kiss and see how that goes hopefully it, it's good i i don't know but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot she's so dang beautiful we just had their first kiss and she said you know you're right things are over between me and laurent laurent might be pretty upset with you though oh i'm sure he will be i'm sure he will be can we lock her in now let's try holding her hands and doing a shy kiss and possibly possibly trying to get her to be our girlfriend. He is all about the anxious life. Uh, okay, learn two more of her traits. Do we actually know? We just know that she's artistic and a workaholic. Okay, let's see. Can we, can we lock her in? That's what we're trying to do here. We need to be irresistible. There we go. Now, can we? There we go. Propose going steady. 
I bet you we're gonna have to get married here, you guys. I can almost bet you we're gonna have to get married in order to make her part of our our household is what I'm assuming, unless I can invite her over now that we're in a relationship. Uh, but we're gonna do, we're gonna get, we're just gonna, we're just gonna risky woohoo because we just don't care. We're gonna risky woohoo. He was thinking about babies and honestly, you know, whatever. We're gonna just, we're gonna try to get our family going and still continue to work on obviously our lifetime wish that we haven't done anything with yet but you know we we're just gonna have to get a whole ass new house because we need a basement so we'll work on that hopefully and hopefully we'll be able to do that pretty soon we do have a decent amount of money it's just the fact that i have to find a house with a basement because i know me building one is just not not going to be good <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and see what happens and see who we can... Oh, yeah, I know, I know. This guy, he, he's, he don't like us, but he's also just over here singing and just like, whatever. Wait, are they about to fight? I think they're about to fight. <gasps> here they go. He's so mad. He's so mad at her. Too bad, my dude. Too freaking bad. Get over it. Maybe we can just do a really quick wedding and just be like, we're taking you home. We're just going to do it. I think we're just going to. We're going to propose marriage and just take her home and we're just going to hope for the best, you know, hope it works out. I, I don't know. Maybe it won't, but we we shall see. Uh, but we're going to risky woohoo well, right now. Well, they just decided to risky woohoo, or actually, I guess I decided that they risky <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm gonna check just just at it just to check I I'm just gonna see what's going on with her and see what kind of happens and she's not pregnant okay I was kind of figuring she wouldn't be but we're gonna have to definitely ask her what is he doing freak out we're gonna have to ask her to marry us and just move in um I'm considering should we just do it like should we just do it let's just go outside maybe maybe i can actually you know we're gonna ask her out on a date let's form a group and we're gonna go somewhere and i'm gonna propose marriage and we're just going to get married and we're gonna scoop her up and bring her back to sunset valley and <laughs> she can explore our lovely crazy family that we have okay, back so home. she agreed to hang out with us so i think i'm gonna take them over to the nectary simply because I want to purchase a couple of things because he wants to purchase a bottle of nectar, buy a nectar rack, and also make nectar worth 75 simoleons. Um, but I just want to kind of get away from the house and also be able to purchase a couple of things to get his little wish that he wants. And yeah, so this is very random and very not planned, but you know, we're just gonna do it. We're just going to She it. has a car, you guys, so she can bring a car into the family. A little sloppy jalopy, which is so freaking funny. Okay, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Because I'm so ready to ask her to be our wife. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this, but whatever. It's fine. They're having a date now, so we love that. I don't know how that changed into a date but whatever. That was kind of what I wanted anyways. So but we're coming still. downstairs after Adele and we're gonna just kind of butter her up and we're gonna just ask her to marry us and we're gonna do a quick little marriage runaway type of situation here and hopefully- <gasps> Wait, what is happening? What happened? Why does she suddenly not like it? Girl, what just happened? I thought we were doing so good, and now you're suddenly like, no, no, I'm For not. For some feeling. reason, she's literally hating every minute of us trying to kiss her or be romantic at all. So I don't know what that's all about. We might have to just let that cool off and try again tomorrow. I don't know what was going on there, but um, okay, girl. Like, I don't know what happened. I guess she's stressed out because of the breakup and all of that, but girl, whatever. Go just get bought some nectar and also a nectar rack since, you know, that's what she or he wanted to do. And I'm not sure what to do. Oh my God, somebody's woohooing. I hear it. I hear it. Who's woohooing? Oh my God, who is it? I need to know. I need to know who this is. I'm so nosy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was just making sure it was not Adele for some strange reason, but I don't know what's going on with her. 
Uh, he's kind of confused. He's drinking cocoa. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. <gasps> no, I did not mean to do that. Go ahead and have some cocoa grape So we went nectar. ahead and invited Adele over to like the town center and see if she would be in a better mood today uh, since she was not feeling, you know, the romance since we kind of broke up her marriage but whatever we're not going to talk about that we're just going to see if we can get romantic with her and I thought it was funny he also wants to build a nectar cellar so he wants us to build a basement so that means we're going to have to do that like pretty dang soon so that we can get his lifetime wish going because we do have to complete that obviously so we're gonna we're gonna see what happens let's see if we can get flirty with her now if she will be into it or not who are you oh you're just like okay chilling. we're trying to be romantic now let's see she, now she's feeling it i guess she maybe was just in a bad mood because she was probably hungry and tired and then had negative moodlets from breaking up with her husband and stuff so she probably was just not in a great mood yesterday which is totally fine but we're gonna try to, to do this now if we can i hope that we will be able to do it let's give her a morris hug and maybe embrace her he's thinking about catching frogs and repairing stuff and calling i'm pretty sure you probably should not call laurent right now i'm i think he's a little upset with us uh let's go ahead and make out and then we're gonna see if we can propose we're gonna see if we can propose and then do a quick wedding and take her back home with us but i am gonna try to do some adventures while we're here um, just because, you know, I want to do some more adventuring, obviously. Okay, okay, we're, we're feeling irresistible. So let's go ahead and propose marriage to her. Please, girl, do not, do not say no. Please don't say no, this will be so awkward. Okay, she's not saying no. She's gonna say yes, you guys. <gasps> oh my goodness okay this is probably the fastest wedding that i've ever had in the sims but we're going for it so let's go ahead and do a private wedding right here in the middle in the middle of town center because why would we do it literally any other way okay but this is seriously so cute like look at them look at how adorable they are there they go. Oh, this is awkward, but whatever. It worked. They got married. So obviously we're going to move her in and he's staying here. So duh, we're going to keep this. This is going to be our household. We just got married. You guys, I cannot believe that we just went to France and got married. Like how random is this? Okay, let's see a little bit about her. So she's brave, workaholic, handy, artistic, and lucky. Okay, so she's got some good traits ex-husband obviously no kids no job she has painting gardening and nectary or nectar making uh she's got <laughs> do i exist book and also a little laptop here and she wants to have the golden tongue golden fingers so master charisma and master the guitar skill that is very very interesting okay uh he wants to visit china which we definitely will i was just trying to get some of the things traveled here uh done here while we traveled i don't know what i just said uh, zane alvi and adele alvi are now married adding adele to the household has brought in 2276 simoleons in gifts and tax benefits so she's thinking of leaving soon you're not gonna be going far girl because you're going back home with us i'm sorry uh i guess we'll go ahead and just end the date because i want to check and see if there's anything i didn't mean to get the mail but we're gonna get mail and see if there's any adventures for us and just kind of see i guess what happens i don't know i'm i'm pretty excited but also like we just got married in france like how random but here we go we're gonna get the mail and somebody has to fix that and i'm probably gonna have well let's have her do it let's just have her come over here and repair it like why not why don't you come over here and repair it and let's see what did we get anything in the mail i don't know i don't know what what that was all about but whatever let's see what kind of venture uh let's see interview andre lefevre be and then report to jean luc beaumont okay so let's see we need to go here something about books and the delicious beverage nectar was okay let's let's go ahead and try let's interview about history and see what happens and see how she's doing because you know i don't know maybe we should probably just leave it alone she wants to learn charisma obviously and read a book about charisma and i'm just gonna have her serve up some mac and cheese and 
follow him over here for an interview and then we're going to probably get ready to wrap up. I'm going to wrap it up with a risky woohoo or maybe even a try for baby. I don't know. Should we wait till we get home to try for a baby? I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we're just kind of going crazy in this part. I, it's just like, whatever. We're just going with it. <laughs> okay. What do you have to say, my dude? Uh, maybe I should get friendlier. Okay. Well, I don't want to, but I guess I'll have to. So let's do a charming introduction because that typically is a little helpful and then we'll act like we really care about what is going on with him let's ask his sign see if he's single our friendship with him is actually going up pretty dang quickly which is amazing so maybe we'll trade some local gossip and then we might be able to make this a happen it will be a little bit funny let's make a silly face Okay, we are friends now, so we're gonna go ahead and, oh my god, have you heard Laurent Durant is completely broke? That is very embarrassing. All right, yes, I know a little bit about the local history of Champs Les Sims. Let me tell you. I guess he told us. I don't know. I guess he told us. Let's go ahead and report in and see what else we're gonna have to do. I really was hoping we could go into some more places and All explore. All right, we need to enter the library near the front of Admiral Landgrab's chateau, locate the nectar papers hidden within and deliver them to Jean-Luc Beaumont for some ancient coins. Okay, let's see, where is the library at? Over here, I see the little star. Oh no, it's this one. Oh my gosh, I hate going over here and trying to figure out what it is that we need to do because this is such a confusing uh, little tomb, but let's go see if we can find the papers at least. I don't know how much time we have left. We have two, we're two out of eight days here, so I might try for a baby when we are like heading home. I think maybe, I think why not? Because, you know, we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna get ourselves started here with a family. Because I feel like he's going to really want that. And him and Adele hit it off pretty, pretty decently. I mean, we just broke up a marriage, but whatever. It's fine. We broke up a marriage and then she got married again. Okay, so. so we're here and it says it should be near the front of the home, but we can't go in anywhere. And I cannot see anything because it's dark. So, um, can we, oh, there's something over here. Can we come over here and inspect this? And we might have to come back during the day when I can actually see, because it says it's near the front of the house. And this is the back of the house, so maybe this is not the best place to start. But we shall see, I guess. All right, ooh, okay, we went ahead and deactivated that. Let's go through these doors and see if we can find anything when we walk in. This is one of the worst tombs, and I don't know that I've ever completed it, because it's just, it's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. We'll go through these doors and can we go through those? We can't go through that door. So this would be the front of the house. So we need to find papers. Okay. There's something over here. Can we look over here? I'm so scared something is going to pop up and like electrocute. Oh, okay. That's, that's what it was. Can we disarm this possibly and get through here? Let's see. He was unable to disarm that, so that kind of sucks. Can we maybe go through these doors? See, this is the one that's like, for some reason, it is so difficult to me. It is one of the harder tombs and I can never figure it out. Okay, so he can't even go through there. Can you go through this door? You can go through a couple of these doors. So maybe we can, oh no, we're about to get, <gasps> I knew it. <laughs> Can we go through this door? Oh no, now he's going to be scared. Dang it. That is not what I wanted to happen. Okay, let's try to go through this door and see where this takes us. Okay, this is the front, right? This is the front of... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what's happening? Do we have a key? <gasps> okay, insert keystone. Please do not get electrocuted. <gasps> oh no. He's going to be knocked out. I cannot believe this. I cannot freaking believe this. So he's going to be knocked out for a minute here, which is just great. Please don't try die. to have him disarm this. He's too scared right now. So I'm going to have to wait a minute. I guess we need to, can we, I guess we can't even do okay, that. He can't even disarm this. So I guess we're going to have to figure out how to get through here which I'm not sure how we're going to do that because it says it's locked. Um, 
and I can't see anything. So I'm probably gonna have him go home for now or go through this door. Let's see what happens if we go through this door. Hopefully we're not about to get electrocuted again. Like this poor dude. Okay, so here we go. Does this lead us anywhere that we need to go? What is upstairs? Nothing, nothing is upstairs. I don't know. Let's go ahead and use the stairs and see where this takes us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think this is literally just going to take us all the way up to nothing if I remember correctly. Let me see. Oh, there's a door. We can't go through the door because we don't have the key. So we can't do that. Okay, there's something over here. Let's go ahead and open this. Please don't get electrocuted again. I'm going to scream if you do. He wants to... F oh my god. <laughs> How are we supposed to get out of this? Attempt to cross. Oh my god, he's not going to be able to do it. He's not going to be able to do it. <gasps> he did it! Oh my god, I didn't think he was going to be able to. Let's go ahead and open this. We dodged a trap. Thank goodness. What's in here? Is there anything good? Literally, that was what we came here for. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's come over here. There's no way we can slip past this. Okay, stand on. That had to have just appeared. So let's stand on that. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to use the stairs and we're going to go all the way back downstairs and get the heck out of here for now because we are not going to be able to disarm this for some reason. So we're going to have to figure out another, another way, basically. Okay, guys, so it is six in the morning. He's had no sleep. I'm probably going to cheat his sleep uh, just for the next part so that he doesn't sleep all day and we can try to get to wherever it is we need to get to. I might have to look into like how to get through this particular tomb because I'm pretty sure it's very difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. Let me know if you guys think about the very sudden marriage um uh, but you know whatever this family we just do whatever we want to do in this family so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below don't forget to leave a like and subscribe turn on your post notifications all of that fun stuff i love you all and i'll see you in the next video